Now, my platform, this thing up here, oh, <laughs> can't make a check mark because it's black. My platform up there, Logibot, was originally created for MLEs, machine learning engineers. All right. Uh, and then I added some courses for the, the data analyst, right? Because this became a role almost damn near impossible to get. And the DA role, the data analyst role, is the only entry level role I know of. But there is another role that uh, I think you should think about. And I've talked about it before, and it's called the data engineer. So what is a data engineer? They work with data. Now, they aren't DBAs. DBAs usually work with one particular database. Like, here's my database picture, the DBA, data, base administrator. Let's say this is a SQL server. SQL server, right? The DBA may only work with SQL servers. That may be the only skill he has. This is his vertical. That's all he does. A data engineer is more widespread. He may work with structured data. If you followed me before, you know what that is. Structured data. Structured data is... Oh, boy, that's horrible. Structured data equals tabular data, tabular data, that in a table. Unstructured data is HTML, HTML files, unstructured data. It has structure, but not that can be easily smashed into a table. Right? Think of it that way. This one data engineering role that I like is called the Snowflake. Snowflake data engineer. What is Snowflake? It is a DW. Remember, database over here, database. This is a relational, relational database. This is a data warehouse, All right? So this Snowflake data warehouse works on the big three. It works on AWS. It works on GCP, Google's cloud platform, and it works on Azure, all right? And it's a cloud data warehouse. So what do I like about it? I mean, it's just a data warehouse. I mean, there are some cool things. It's got columnar storage. Uh, it's a lot like BigQuery, in my opinion. There are some technical nuances that I like about it. But what I like the most is that nobody, nobody knows about it. All right. So if you aren't in IT, you've never heard of Snowflake, right? So everyone and their brother has heard of the data science role. Everyone and their brother has heard of the machine learning engineering role, right? Nobody, very few people, know about the DE role, the DE role. And even fewer people know about Snowflake. And Snowflake is the fastest growing data warehouse on earth, All right? So... I think there is, if you're coming from a DA role, you're going to have to have SQL before someone's going to let you administer uh, a Snowflake data warehouse. But let's say you're in a D role. Let's say you're a data analyst or you're a junior any data role. Let's say you're a junior DBA or a junior anything, right? Uh, and as long as you have this skill with one of these databases, it can be SQL Server, it can be MySQL, it can be Oracle, it doesn't matter. Postgres, you, you name it. It can be any of the relational databases, right? Uh, you probably can weasel your way in to a data engineering role with this Snowflake data warehouse. Um, the growth potential here is fantastic. They're going to be around forever. It's cloud. Everyone's in the cloud, right? Uh, nobody knows about it. It's a role that's uh, pretty obscure. Uh, it has a lot of things going for it. Um, it's not hard to work with. I worked on a role where I uh, moved a whole bunch of data into, here was the Snowflake data warehouse, and we had to pump data in from a whole bunch of disparate locations, SQL Server, SQL Server, and then Oracle. They had Oracle. Christ, they had everything. I think they had MySQL. Uh, it's QL, that's MySQL. And uh, I had to set CICD pipelines here, and we used a product called Fivetran. 
You can look that up too if you want. Five train. And it was a connector for just about everything in the world, but it had connectors for these. And it allowed us to set up CICD pipelines uh, to continuously load changes from all these databases to my Snowflake data warehouse. And this is, I administered this data warehouse. I did all the things like a DBA would do. Now there are also developer roles. Let's say that you like, uh, like SQL. Let's say you like writing SQL code, right? They have a language called Snow. <laughs> Snow SQL. Uh, and it's basically SQL, right? It's another flavor of SQL. And uh, it allows you to write store procedures and code for people to access the Snowflake data warehouse. All right, so uh, the DE role uh, is a great role. And it's a great role because it's the number one, and I've been saying this for, well, ever since Google told me <laughs> 10 years ago, that it's the number one role in the world. Uh, nothing's close and nothing's gonna be close anytime soon in the IT space. It's gonna be the data engineer. Uh, I think uh, Google back then said the only thing that's gonna compete with it is a full stack developer. And that's a, that's a much harder role to attain. Full stack devs are, man, that's that's difficult. Um, data engineer, not so difficult. All right, so this is just another option for you um, and your journey as a, a data professional.